Here we're asked to solve a linear system that consists of three variables and three equations. Let's begin by labeling these equations. One, two, and three. We can eliminate z using equation one and two. Now to do that, we can multiply both sides of the first equation here by negative three. That'll give us an equivalent system, negative 6x plus 9y plus 3z equals negative 21. And at this point, you can see the variable z is lined up to eliminate. So when we add these equations together, we're left with negative 3x plus 14y equals negative 23. Now let's eliminate z again, this time using equation one and equation three. Using these equations, we can eliminate the variable z if we multiply both sides of the first equation by two. That'll give us an equivalent system, four x minus six y minus two z equals 14 and we can see the variable z is lined up to eliminate. So when I add these equations together, we're left with 8x minus 7y equals 31. Now we're left with two equations with two unknowns. Now we can solve the resulting linear system here by elimination we can eliminate the variable y if we multiply both sides of the second equation here by two. That'll leave us with an equivalent system here where the second equation is uh, 16x minus 14y equals 62. Now adding these two equations together we can eliminate the variable y. That leaves us with 13x equals 39. And then dividing both sides by 13, we have x equals three. Now at this point, we begin the process of back substitution. Here we'll substitute x into this first equation of this system here. Substituting x is negative, or x is equal to three, we have negative nine plus 14y equals negative 23. Adding nine to both sides, we have 14y equals negative 14. And then dividing by 14, y then equals negative one. So we have x, now we have y. All that's left to do is back substitute into one of these original equations to find z. Let's use the first equation. Here we'll substitute three in for x and negative one in for y. And that'll leave us with six plus three minus z equals seven, or nine minus z equals seven. Subtracting nine on both sides, we're left with negative z equals negative two, or z equals two. And now all that's left to do is to present our solution as an ordered pair, or an ordered triple, that is. And so here, the simultaneous solution is three comma negative one comma two.